Hi guys, in this quick preview video I just would like to show you some of the latest features of WebRotate 360 Spot Editor and specifically I'm going to do a quick demo of how you can quickly edit your 360 product images straight out of your camera and create finalized 360 product views with a pure white background in just a few mouse clicks. So here is our completely reworked version of our desktop software and with this new version you don't really have to have your images prepared up front uh, before importing into our software because this time we added a bunch of handy features that allow you to edit images inside the software. So I'm going to go ahead and close this project now and we are going to use a set of 360 product images straight out of our DSLR camera that were produced for a real photography client a while back. And so the only path I'm specifying here is the location where my project files will be created as well as the path to the original images. So I'm going to click create and our software automatically processes the images so that we have an optimized copy for further on-the-fly processing. And you can also bypass the optimization and use your original images as is. So here we have our images loaded into our new preview mode, which is on by default. And it shows you how your images will look like inside the viewer when published. And you can turn this preview mode on and off, but it's usually very convenient to have it on to see the actual image presentation. So here I can change the viewer background fill area, which is basically the viewing space outside of the images which is highlighted with the turquoise borderlines and it's going to be white for this set of images and uh, also I can quickly change or experiment with the viewer dimensions for my project which I can do at any time of the image editing process so this I think will look fine now let's go to a new set of tabs under images and we are going to use our new tools section to define our crop area and zooming level. So I'm going to change crop fill color to white and I can adjust crop area to have a larger product presentation on the actual JPEG images. Move it a little bit at the top and I can also quickly see if a part of the product got cut out and I can fix it accordingly. And also I can lock the, the cropping sliders and shift it left and right or top and bottom proportionally. And so it looks like we have our cropping area pretty much defined. And now we can adjust the zooming level and you can just move the resize slider below 100% and see immediately if the zooming is sufficient for your product presentation or not. So this looks a little bit too small for this tablet. So let's maybe move it a little bit more and leave it at 80%, which seems to be working fine now. And also in the left corner here, you can see the actual dimensions, the pixel dimensions that will be applied to the images during resize on publish. Now we are done with crop and resize. So let's go to a new filters tab, which has all your standard photography filters such as brightness, contrast, color balance, input levels and sharpness. The beauty of these filters and any other edits that you make in our software is that you can immediately preview their effect on all images and fix or change accordingly. Now most often you would want to use levels to adjust both your background field and your image contrast, but in addition to that we added a handy background color helper that allows you to see the area of the images that is either white or non-white or some other color you choose. So I click here once and now I see everything that is non-white highlighted in pink. And if I click here again, it will show me all parts of the images that are white and pink. So now I can adjust the white slider further to overexpose the highlights and have more of my background in, in white. As you can see, most of the image background now is in white color with a nice shade under the product. But we still see some sections that are non-white and there is still a chunk of the turntable on the images. 
and also we don't want to move the white slider any further as our images would be too overexposed so let's check out another new feature of this software release which is called path and which is located under the tools tab and we can keep the background color helper on just to help us with the task so I'm going to create a new path and in this particular situation I think I'm going to quickly circle the product around and inverse the selection so let me finish this path quickly and now I will inverse the selection and I will propagate the selection to all images in the set and will lock it just to make it easier to drag the images and see how the path was applied elsewhere so I see now that all of the non-white areas and the turntable are gone, which is what I really needed. And again, all of these edits have not been really applied to the originals, so the whole process is non-destructive in that you can remove your path or change levels or remove any other filter at any time, even after you publish this 360 view or close and reopen the project. Now let's see another nice and often requested feature, which is located under the canvas tab. So in this release we added image watermarking to help you protect your work. We added two types of watermarking. Text watermarks that you can quickly create using your own wording and then adjust various styles and orientation. So let's type in my watermark. Then we will add it to the canvas, move it to the center of the image for instance. Then maybe change text size, orientation, change the text fill and maybe increase the size so that looks fine now or you can use your own watermark images that you can add using the image watermark section below so I'm going to pick a sample watermark move it to the toolbar area for this test you can also lock the watermarks or hide them all together and republish for instance for the final delivery to your client now we have many other new features in this release related to hotspots, publishing templates and more which we will cover in our next videos. So for now I'm going to just go ahead and publish this 360 view. Note that we also added a few handy additions to our publishing workflow where for instance you can configure one or more FTP connections and publish straight to FTP. I can create a new FTP connection here or delete the old ones. and I can decide if I want to preview it online inside the browser of my choice or offline inside the browser of my choice. I can change image settings and also at this stage I can decide whether to publish my 360 view consisting of both optimized low resolution images that load immediately on page load and high resolution ones that load on demand on zoom or full screen or just use a single set of uh, resized images. Now let's hit publish and give it a couple of seconds to process the images. Uh, it's launched in local Firefox uh, on pure white background as we planned. All looking fine with our watermark supplied. So this is it for our demo today. Thank you for your time.